If we are given a function like f of x equals x squared, and we're asked to find the function values when our input is seven, notice what our rule says. Our rule says take your input and square it. So in this case, our input is seven. So that's what becomes squared to give us 49 as an answer to this first one. f of x plus one, remember the rule is saying take your input and square it. What we're squaring is one plus x, which should lead us to want to FOIL this. One plus x times one plus x gives us one times one is one. Outer is x, inner is x, so that gives us two x, and last will give us plus x squared. F of seven plus h, well, we are told to take our input and square it, and our input is seven plus h, and again, we're going to want to FOIL this because our rule says take your input and square it, which will give us when we FOIL this 49 plus 14H plus H squared. And lastly, right here, X plus H. Well, this one is going to be super important for us when we're doing calculus. X plus H gives us X plus H times X plus H. When I FOIL this out, I get X squared plus XH plus XH is plus 2XH plus our last term is h squared. So we're practicing working towards something called the difference quotient, which will be very important for us in calculus. So mathematically, if I say f of x is x squared, find f of x plus h minus f of seven. Just as we did before, f of x plus h is x plus h squared minus, if our input is seven, we're squaring that so when we FOIL this out, we get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 49. That will be our first answer here. If I say, what is f of x plus h minus f of x? Well, minus f of x, we can make our substitution. We're told that f of x is x squared. f of x plus h is x plus h squared. So we'll get x plus h times x plus h minus x squared. When I FOIL this, I get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared. And you can see that our survivor will be 2xh plus h squared there. So here is our first bite of the apple. Here's the difference quotient. I know this means nothing to you now, but it will shortly. If I'm given this function, I'm asked to find f of x plus h minus f of x, hmm, that's y minus y over x plus h minus h, that's x minus x. Huh, that seems like slope, if that seems like slope to you, you're on the right track. So f of, f of x plus h is our input squared minus f of x, which is x squared over x plus h minus x, which of course will equal x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus x squared. I just foiled that to get this, and I carried over the minus x squared over. Well, if I have x and negative x, they will cancel each other off and we'll be left with h. x squared cancels with x squared, and I'm left with 2xh plus h squared over h. Now, if I'm asked to take the limit as h approaches zero of this function, notice what happens if I substitute in zero for h. I get zero over zero, which we know is an indeterminate form. So I must have to do something special. Ah, yeah, our plan B. Factor out an h, and we're left with 2x plus h over h, cancel, cancel. So if we take the limit as h approaches zero of this function, which is the surviving function, 2x plus h, notice if I do the direct substitution now, I'm simply left with 2x. And that is our, it's called the derivative actually, from first principles or using the difference quotient. We don't know that yet, but mechanically that's what we're doing.